What's going on everybody? Welcome back. So today I want to talk uh, to you guys about the current filtration in the Waterbox 20. This is episode 10 of the Nano Reef Tank build. Tank's coming along real nice. The diatom stage is completely over and everything looks really, really good. So talk to you guys about, you know, maybe my, my maintenance and filtration, what's going on. So after I added the rock and the sand, the tank holds exactly 16 gallons and I think two cups. So I'm going with 16 gallons when I do my water changes. So once a week I do a four gallon water change, super easy. I have two five gallon buckets, one of, you know, they're both marked at the four gallon mark. So I mix up some water, pour one in, suck some out, done, you know, or vice versa, suck some out, pour some in. It's the easiest water change I've ever done in my whole life. So. Once a week, I'm doing a four gallon water change on a 16 gallon system, so that's 25% water change. Now the filtration. Filtration is a little different from when I originally set it up, but not that far off. If you guys haven't seen the videos that I did on the media baskets that I have in the back, I will leave the link to that video right there. There it is. So check it out. I got the in-tank media baskets, the left section and the center section. They don't make one because this is the return pump section. So currently right now I'm only running one. I'm running the first media chamber and the only thing I have in there is the pinky filters and underneath in one of the compartments I have the Kemi Pure Blue Nano Packets. I bought the five pack. Each packet is good for up to five gallons. Now I don't have much going on in here. It's just you know two fish, some inverts and the anemones and stuff so there's not a whole lot going on in here so I'm only using one packet for now it's helping you know keep things I guess stable I guess I don't want to overdo it because Kimmy Pure works really well it's one thing I do have to say is you have to be careful when you're using it because it can strip everything out of your tank you know phosphates will disappear if you put too much in so first chamber super simple I, I can easily add more there's a whole nother chamber underneath of it so I could add a big packet of carbon. It's, these things are so versatile, it's awesome. Now the center section, I am not using anymore. I found that I didn't really need it at the moment. I'm not, you know, I don't have a need for it. So I took it out. So I have the heater just sitting right here. And then what I did is I took 20 spheres, you know, when I originally started this tank up, I took 20 marine pure spheres and put them in this tank. I did take the spheres from the 75 gallon reef tank and I put them over here. They were about six months old. So it really helped with the cycle of the tank. So right now they're just sitting in a media bag at the far right of the middle section, all the way at the bottom, because the water, you know, it goes down through here, comes up, flows into here, and then it has to go back down to the very bottom of the tank and then back up before it gets into the return section. So the water has to flow through the spheres in order to get back into the display tank. So I like that setup, it's super simple. You know, I have a drawstring in there that's just floating. You can kind of see them, yeah, you see, the, see it down in there? You can see the media bags? That's where it is, it's just, it's perfect. It's running really well, everything looks nice, and I'm extremely happy with it. So, you know, four gallons a week water change, pinky filters, I change them probably once a week. Um, the Kemi Pure Packet, I'll probably just leave that in there until I see the water starting to get cloudy. And the Marine Pure Spheres, just sitting there. I'm not even going to touch them. Don't have to do anything with them. I'll probably maybe clean this section out, you know, the whole back section out, give it a good cleaning, like maybe once every eight to ten months, you know. Unless I add more fish, which I'm already thinking about adding more fish. But anyway, so yeah, super simple. Waterbox 20, highly recommend this tank. I wish I could afford to get more. Um, I think they're coming in around $200, $200 price range. So, but if you're thinking about getting a nano tank, I highly recommend this one. This has been my favorite thus far. So, that's it everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.